Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Kali Linux Live USB. Step by step, the easy and fastest way. Let's get right into it. I already have the official Kali website open here. That's Kali.org. From here, we're going to download the Kali ISO file. I'm using the live version, so just click on the version that says live and let it download. I also opened the Rufus page in advance. This is the tool we'll use to burn Kali to our USB. You can get Rufus from its official website, but Softonic also works if you trust it. Once Rufus is downloaded, just open it. You don't need to install it, it runs directly. Here's Rufus, it just popped up. Now, select your USB drive, and then click Select to choose the Kali Linux ISO file you downloaded. Before starting, we need to choose the correct partition scheme, MBR or GPT. To check that, search for Disk Management, open it. And right-click on your local disk, click Property, then go to Volume tab of My Local Disk. Mine is GPT, maybe yours is different. As you saw, mine is GPT, so I selected GPT in Rufus. After hitting start, Rufus will show you a warning, just telling you everything on the USB will be erased. That's normal. Click OK, and Rufus will begin creating the Kali Live USB. This part takes a few minutes depending on your USB speed. I sped it up for the video. It's finished now. Click Cancel and restart your PC. Press F2 to open the BIOS setting and it depends on your laptop. Now go to Boot in the menu and make the USB at first. Save it by F10, but depends on your laptop. Click ESC to exit. Now select the option that says Live AMD64. This will run Kali Linux directly from the USB without installing anything on your system. And that's it, your Kali Linux Live USB is ready. If you found this helpful, drop a like, subscribe, see you in the next one.